Chapter 9, The Series, Love. A few banquets passed before the courtesan's procession and today was the fifth wow. day. Wow, we just skipped like four days with him, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, like, all of them. <laughs> I was once again walked to Yoshivara today. Though Yoshivara displayed its usual crowds, the rumors from the people reached my ears. Did you hear about Kikuya? I heard there's a great gentleman replacing top gentleman Takao. Isn't it the green-eyed Tokiwa-sama? I heard he's had a big extra one banquet every night. He must be such a handsome guy. I'd like to see him even if it's just a glimpse. Talk of the banquet spread all over Yoshiwara, Yoshiwara making Tokiwa-san and Kikuya more famous. I then left that place and rushed to Kikuya. When I got to Kikuya, the entrance was surrounded by spectators. Were they trying to see Tokiwa-san? I made my way through the crowd of people and went inside Kikuya. Well, well, Misao. I've been expecting you tonight, too. The inside of Kikuya was also crowded, and Iroha-san welcomed me in a very good mood. There are so many people here. I pulled a few tricks to spread the rumors, but all of this is thanks to your help, Misao-san. As manager of Kikuya, I have no words to express my deep gratitude. Just then, I heard the sound of footsteps from upstairs. Misao, you're late. Takifa-san shouted in a high-spirited voice and came down to the entrance. Oh, what beautiful eyes. Oh, wait, that's a oh, female kind. What beautiful eyes. They're just as I saw in the Ukiyo's painting. Gasp of admiration out out of the mouth of clients that saw Tokiwa-san. Tokiwa-san covered my ears with his hands. Thanks to your help, this has become a very large rumor. Now, now it seems like our plan will go well. Tokiwa-san grinned proudly. Well, the banquet has already been prepared for today, so please come to the parlor room. Yes, and so I was taken to the parlor room. A famous dancer was called for today's banquet, and it was truly gorgeous. Misao, you drink sake smoothly. Why don't you have one more? Tokiwa-san poured sake into my empty cup. Thank you. Surrounded by many gentlemen, the banquet went on in an extra forget matter tonight. As the banquet hit its climax, the sliding door was opened with a flash. Everyone naturally looked at the door. I'm coming in. Takosan was entering the parlor room, a camp a ca accompanied accompanied hmm? by young boys. Taco, why are you coming here with all these people? Well, I'm not coming here to complain, so it's alright for me to stay here a bit, right? Takosan touched his chin to sign for something. And following this, the young boys waiting behind him put out sweets from overseas one by one in each seat. Chokiva-san opened his eyes widely in reaction to this unexpected turn of events. What? Well, what is this? The rumors of you have grown a bit, so these are gifts from me. From you? That's pretty rare. <laughs> it's originally because I insist on doing things my way. Your level is far behind me, but if the rumors are this big, I can't ignore them. Taka, you always say more than needs to be said. You do too. Chako-san smoked his pipe in high spirits and sent a flirtatious glance my way. Miss, for you to raise him up to a man of this level, that makes you a good woman. Well, enjoy. Sorry to bother you guys. After he finished saying that, he what he wanted to say, Chako-san left the parlor room. What was that? It feels weird for him to acknowledge my super superiority. Tokiwa-san scratched his cheeks with his nails like he felt itchy, but he did look happy somehow. Hmm, I guess he has a good side too. It's great that he acknowledged you. You can't lose. <laughs> you can't lose. Cause it's with the 1-0. Oh. <laughs> so the, the acknowledge thing, I would really like it if he mm. was... He acknowledged you, or something like that, like more as to show that they're equals, but he's like talking about superiority. What? The, that's so weird yeah. to say. Like, I would say it's great that he acknowledged you, but yeah. I wouldn't want it to be he acknowledged you as in like a rival. That would sound better for him, I would think. But yeah. Can't get the best answers, huh? Yeah, I would say the middle too. 
Okay. Tokiwa-san, it's great that Takara-san acknowledged you. Well, it means that he can't ignore me. Oh. <laughs> it may be easier than I thought to be Kagu uh, Kigua's top gentleman. Tokiwa-san, you're just full of confidence, aren't you? Because you're supporting me, Miss Ao. Of course I'd be brimming with confidence, right? Really, this is all thanks to you, Miss Ao. As long as it can help you, that's enough for me. He gave us these rare sweets, and this is a banquet, so let's enjoy ourselves. That's true, but... Tokiwa-san suddenly lowered his voice and brought his face closer to my ear. I actually want to be alone with you now, Miss Ao. He showed me an alluring smile and then slowly entangled his fingers with mine. To Tokiwa-san, I felt my cheeks becoming hot and quickly looked down. We finished the banquet after midnight and then Tokiwa-san and I decided to go to bed. As soon as we went to bed, Tokiwa-san hugged me tightly. Tokiwa, he put his nose into my collarbone which tickled me and made my body squirm. <laughs> it's finally just the two of us. I like the crowds of the banquet, but spending time alone with the woman I love is the best. Well, miss? Um, Tokiwa-san carried me in his arms and put me down on the bed. We sat down, shoulder to shoulder, and our lips were naturally drawn together into a quiet kiss. <laughs> so, your face is bright red. It's cute. As he smiled at close distance, I couldn't look away from his beautifully shining green eyes. Even though we've seen each other so many times, you're still innocent, Masao. I'm happy. He kissed my cheek lightly. I loved this person. My heart started to beat faster and faster. Oh, I almost forgot. I have something to give you today, Miss Ao. Tokiwa-san searched his chest pocket and pulled out a small package. What is that? <laughs> what do you think? He put it into my hand and then covered my hand with his hand. There you go, a present from me to you. I still haven't said thanks for the hairpin you gave me before. A present? What's inside? Open it. Yes. After he said that, I opened the fabric. This is... Inside of the package, there was a bracelet made from small, clear, shining pieces of jade. Um, did you notice that his clothes yeah, just he's, he's changed? Yeah, he's changed twice. He was started like this, changed to his usual clothing, and now he changed again. Oh, really? I didn't even notice. He just keeps on dressing, <laughs> like, and then he's like, oh, she doesn't like this dresses again. It's beautiful. And these stones, they're the same color as Tokifa-san's eyes. Yes, I especially ordered them from the mainland. The color of my eyes. Misao, if you said you like it, then it, I feel it's not a bad thing. Do you like it? Thank you. I love this color so much. It's the same color as the eyes of Tok- Yeah, you just said that like three times. <laughs> Who I love so much. Ah, you say that also all the time. It's because we said we love him. That's why it keeps being, I love you, I love you, I love It's good. <laughs> <laughs> when you say that, it makes me feel a little embarrassed though. I will put it on you, Misao. Please put out your hand. Yes. I felt excited to put my hand out. <laughs> Tokiwa-san put the bracelet on me with his skillful fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and voila. Tokiwa-san took my hand after that, and he put my hand up close to his face. Oh, look at this. Hmm. He pushes his lips to my palm. Mm. The soft touch of his lips <laughs> made my heart skip a beat. When you compare them closely, they look like a matching pair, right? His green eyes and the bracelet stones shine with the same light under the lantern. Haha, <laughs> they do! <laughs> the most fake laugh ever. <laughs> Tokyo-san's eyes were more beautiful, though. That's what I thought. I want you. I want to paint you with more of my colors, Misao. I want to touch you like this and kiss you, and I want to be you to become mine now. Like he, he, before like one day before he was like no, you know, but now it's one time. day it's it's the fifth day, Greta. We've yeah, been past okay. four days already. His lips traced a line from the palm of my hand to my wrist that shined with jade. <sighs> Tokiwa-san, his half-opened lips that traced my thin skin and his green <coughs> eyes. Bless you. I could see a fragment of lust hidden deep inside those eyes. Men are wild creatures. 
I said I didn't want to hurt you, but I still want to sleep with you. His eyes that stared at me swayed with confusion and lust. I imagined that he was trying not to hurt me, but I felt impatient with his kindness. The seventh day was soon approaching. After the courtesan's procession ended, I wouldn't be able to see him again. Miss Al. <sighs> I wish he could take my... Take me away, if possible. I want him to drive this burning, vivid memory into my heart. Tokiwa, I gently put my body into Tokiwa's sense. Miss Al, seriously, love is scary. A single word from you drives me crazy. Suddenly, Tokiwa's son pushed my body down to the bed, and he kissed me in the deepest way that I've ever known. Mm. Miss Al. His kiss was incredibly deep. It was as if he were searching everything inside my mouth. <laughs> it doesn't sound romantic. <laughs> it was like he just—it was like he just about forgot how to breathe. He devoured me like a starving animal. <laughs> Stop cringing. Mm. Tokiwa-san wanted me. In my entire life up until now, has someone ever wanted me, my being this much? Masa. Mm -hmm. He covered my cheeks with both of his hands and called my name with a hot sigh. Cookie, where's the hot sigh? Miss <laughs> Al. <laughs> the man who was longingly calling my name. The man who I fell in love with. Why was he a captive gentleman? Mm. <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> Well, what are I'm you just, doing? I'm just putting, going to the scene, you know? His beautiful hair and face was a mess now, but he didn't care at all, and his lips still wanted me passionately. But the time when I would have to say good goodbye was approaching. He had me caught like I was in a spider's web. The more he wanted me, the more I didn't want to leave him. As he devoured my lips, <laughs> Tokiwa-san's long fingers rolled up the end of my clothing. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> With skillful movements, he started to trace over my thighs. The image of his wide, well-maintained fingers suddenly came into my mind. Mm -hmm. so. The hand of the person that I loved so much was crawling on my skin. It's hot. His hands were burning hot. The wet sound of our kiss and the dry sound of our clothes throbbing. These were melting in the quiet darkness. He didn't do more than that. It was just tracing over my body with his hands. But it seemed like that was enough to make my heart melt. Mm. <laughs> that was short. I wondered how long it was that he wanted me. My lips were released. And we both breathed, breathed roughly and repeatedly. <sighs> so... Mm. Like, all he's saying is like, Misso, Misso, Misso. He stared at me with eyes that longingly scanned me over. I didn't want to leave him. I didn't want to leave him. <laughs> I said the same words many times in my mind. I didn't want to leave him. Indeed, what happened to me? Huh? When our skin overlaps like this, Misso, I feel like I'm not myself. Tokiwa-san. I was also thinking only of Tokiwa-san all day. If not, then why will this goodbye be so painful? I feel so lonely when morning comes. I'm Tokiwa-sama who spent countless nights with women. With women. But I always feel that I don't want you to go home, Misao. But no matter how much I struggle, I can't go outside of the red light district. I wish I could have met you a different way. If he wasn't a gentleman of the night, if we could have met somewhere else other than this island, then would I not have to feel these painful emotions? It sounds depressing, doesn't it? We'll be okay, because you can buy me every night like this, Mazo. <laughs> <laughs> That's so romantic. Yeah. Good you can buy me every night. Yeah, like, I don't think um, you should buy... Like, as soon as money is involved like this, you can never be sure if that's... Yeah. Yeah, you know? that's why this guy's full of shit. He's just... Yeah, like, he can he could say this to every woman. Yeah, exactly. There are no problems. And the thing is, like, she is so in love. Like, it's so over. Tokiwa-san, who didn't know the truth, hugged me and smiled a little. Hmm. I couldn't say anything. I looked away from Tokiwa-san's glance and looked down slightly. What? What's wrong? Hmm. I'm sorry. Please just stop. 
dot dot dot. Why isn't they just like tell them the fucking truth? Yeah, do we <laughs> want that though? Like, I, I would know. do that. Yeah. I know, but mm. I would. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course I know you wouldn't tell the truth. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> um, I don't know. I would go. I'm sorry, or like dot dot dot. Yeah. What do we take? I don't know. I actually, I actually have no idea. I would say dot 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 probably, but I'm sorry. It's still good. I feel like I'm sorry. Uh, sounds like she's gonna tell him the truth. Yeah. I would I would go for dot 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 too. <laughs> okay. He believed it. He totally believed that in seven days, when the banquets were over, I would come see him again. It's like I was deceiving him, wasn't it? You've suddenly become quiet. What's wrong? I knew it. You didn't like what I did to you. No, that's not it. That's not what I mean. So? Of course, I couldn't tell him. I wasn't from a rich family at all. I couldn't tell him. Uh, we took the wrong decision. I feel like if we said I'm sorry, we maybe could have told him, you know? Yeah, but you say you didn't want to do that. <sighs> maybe you were right. And on the seventh night, I had to Kikuya while holding complicated feelings in my heart. I went down the main street and stopped in front of Kikuya. Within the red painted gates, gentlemen displayed their beauty. Of course, Tokiwa-san, whom I bought for the night, wasn't there. <sighs> Tokiwa. When I saw the gentlemen with the gates here for the first time, I just... I just thought they were beautiful. I didn't know that it meant they were captive. I wished to be touched. The gentlemen within those gates must have pain. I shouldn't have touched him so easily. Even if I could light a canary out of in the sky, I couldn't guarantee what would happen afterwards. <sighs> After this night ended, I wouldn't be able to meet Tokiwa-san anymore. Even though Tokiwa-san didn't know the truth, I made up my mind and entered Kikuya. My final night had just begun. Ooh. Oh my god, do I wanna know? Wait, it didn't change? Mm -hmm. It didn't change. <sighs> Shit. Oh man, we're chapter 10 and likability 5. Oh, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> Baby